Hello traders, FX Pipcolette here. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the S&P 500 starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, we have definitely were going down very strong. I think that's a trend, making me think that is a wave A. I think this move up is going to be a corrective wave B, and I still think it's going to go down one more time to make a wave C, probably down around the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement and the 138.3 Fibonacci extension before it actually finishes this ABC and goes back into a bull market. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame is where you can more clearly see that this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, most likely a wave A. This right here is an uptrend. I think that's an A also. This move down is a correction, wave B, and I do believe we're going up now for wave C of wave B. Most likely place I think for that to turn is probably around the 61.8 and then I bet it will turn back down to make a wave C just like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's head down to the daily. Daily time frame I think this is the end of that wave A. This right here is definitely an uptrend. Higher highs, higher lows, all part of a wave A. This right here is more like a model, motive wave correction, but I do think it is a correction, a wave B, and I think we are trending up now for wave C. I think the most likely place for this to go is probably some place around the $4,300 area to finish off the wave C of wave B. Before it makes a move to the downside, takes out structure, and heads back down to make that wave C. So let's keep going down to the 4 hour time frame. For our time frame, we're definitely looking for longs, and we're only looking to go long at the end of these ABC pullbacks. ABC down, ABC down, ABC down. <coughs> ABC down and passive up is always what I'm looking for, for an entry to go long. So, if the market goes down, makes another move to the downside, I'm definitely not going to be looking to go short, but instead I'm going to wait for the end of this pullback, and then I'm going to go long at the end of the pullback for the continuation of the uptrend. So, let's keep going down to the one hour. One hour time frame, if this does go down, if it does break structure, then then we can throw our Fibonacci retracement on there, and we can look for a three-way pattern. Like I said, even if it does break structure, I'm not looking for shorts. Instead, I'm waiting for this shape right there, or this shape right here, to go long at the end of the next ABC correction for the continuation of the uptrend. ABC down, bounce off a of Fib level, impulsive move up, take out structure from the wave C is always what I'm looking for for entries to go long in an uptrend. So that is my forecast on the S&P 500. If you have any questions or comments you can find me on Discord. The link to my free Discord is in the description. Thanks and happy trading.